hello everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here thank you so so much for clicking on today's video today's video is going to be super exciting because i'm going to bring you guys to the shops and we're going to see what zara h&m mango all those amazing shops have in for autumn fashion 2023. I feel like we've not had the best summer. I feel like I've been so fortunate to go away quite a lot. So I'm craving autumn clothing. I don't mean like full on like jumpers, knitwear, even though I'm literally wearing a cardigan today. But I mean like things like tailoring, some nice shirts, suit trousers, blazers, that kind of thing. Some kind of more like transitional pieces. I'm going to go to Zara, H&M, Mango, Primark maybe. Um, and we're just going to see everything that's new in. I feel like I've not been to the shops for so long. I just got back from being in Swanage. So I'm very excited to see what they have to offer. So my outfit of the day today, I've got on this little cardigan, which is from Primark. I feel like I'm going to be very hot in this, but I am clearly just bringing the autumn vibes already. This little top is from Zara. I've got this in white as well, and it's honestly one of my best buys at the moment. I'm obsessed with it. And then I've got on my good old Bershka. I think these are my Bershka suit trousers. I'll try and get like a better... OOTD little clip when we're out of the shops but yeah, I'm gonna head off now and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm there so the first shop we went into was Zara and as always I was obsessed with everything new in that they had that was autumn winter they had really nice like little like waistcoats they had quite a lot of dresses some amazing blazers I really like this black blazer like the cut of it was so nice and they also had this really nice khaki top with a really nice like sweetheart neckline which is always so so flattering some crochet pieces as well I noticed that they had in so many different kitten heels like so many pointed heels I feel like they're just going to be huge this autumn winter and they also had a lot of satin shirts like literally look at all the colors I love this blue one and it was only $22.99 which I thought was actually a really good price for a satin shirt especially for Zara but yeah it literally came in every single color you can imagine and they also had these really nice shorts I actually didn't really need these because I have too many shorts as it is but I really like the idea of the belt paired with them and the fact that it kind of comes together was really cool and it was only $25.99 which I thought was a really good price this black dress was absolutely stunning like if I had anywhere to wear this this would have been going straight in my basket it is so Carrie Bradshaw it is just absolutely stunning and only £50 which I actually thought was a very good price I'm really on the hunt for like a little um kind of like tan bag and this one really caught my eye $29.99 this was a really nice kind of shaped sweatshirt I love the piping on this and I also love this crochet one and it was backless which I just think is stunning the whole shape of that and the silhouette would look absolutely gorgeous and this was $29.99 which is actually not too bad either this whole section was just a vibe for me all the shirts they had a lot of white shirts a lot of blue shirts I really like the shape of the white shirt that they had here and also these silver ballet pumps I feel like I said last year, ballet pumps were having a revival and they are back again this year. I actually purchased this little shirt, this kind of like blue and white pinstripe shirt because I was after one for so long. Then they also had these really nice pointed mules and these look very high fashion, a little bit more kind of like luxe compared to the other ones as I walked in. I really like this pair because the heel is so tiny and I can't walk very well in heels. Another trend that is huge this autumn winter is cropped trenches. I actually already have one at home, but this one was really nice. It was only £60. And they just had so many gorgeous jackets. I like the Molly May jacket without the collar. Lots of striped items. Stripes were huge last year. And I feel like they're even bigger this year. So many stripes. And then also just like some kind of nice like linen-y pieces that you can wear into autumn. I really like this pair of linen trousers. They were kind of like a drawstring waist. But they were just a little bit too short. So I didn't actually try them on. And they were quite expensive. They were £50, which I think is quite a lot. This was really cool. There were some kind of like cool padded pieces. Some like worn pieces. This jacket I fell in love with and it was $89.99 but it was dry clean only and I just thought I cannot have a white jacket that's dry clean only. It's just not going to be worth it. Also just thought I'd show you guys these. This is the top that I had on at the beginning of the video that was $5.99 which is just such a bargain and I love those tops. Here are some things that I tried on. So this pair of jeans, I have a whole try on that's already on my channel if you guys want to see this in more detail. But this is the pair of jeans that I have. I will link them down below. They are the best jeans ever. And then here's a little kind of cropped shirt. This is it undone, although I probably would wear it done up. I don't know why I tried it on undone. But here it is done up. I feel like it just is such a cool, effortless, chic outfit. And the fit of this is just perfection. I love how cropped it is. I love like the fraying at the bottom. And I feel like it just looks a lot more expensive than Zara. And I feel like it's going to be something that I compare in so many different ways. Then here is a little white crop shirt, which I actually picked up. I ended up purchasing this. And this is probably one of my favourite like pieces that I have bought from Zara ever. My mum actually 
convinced me to try this on and I also tried it on in the black I ended up just going for the white but looking back I feel like I do need to purchase the black as well because the fit and the cut and everything is just the absolute best then I tried on this really cool like little cardigan bomber style jacket with a little zip which I thought was just so cute I actually purchased this as well and I've got so much wear out of it then it was matcha time, so I headed to Starbucks, got a matcha, and my order is a vanilla matcha with two pumps of vanilla syrup, if you guys are wondering. But I still don't think it's sweet enough. I just don't think Starbucks matcha is the one for me. I then headed to TK Maxx. I really wanted to get like a new kind of nudie or tan tote bag. I really like this one. It kind of was giving Bottega vibes, and I also like this black one as well. But it was just a little bit flat, so I feel like it just wasn't... I think it was still like £50. It just wasn't really worth that in my eyes. Like I'd just seen nice ones throughout the day but they did have such an amazing selection of designer shoes like they always do but the size is always a little bit off so it's just really hit and miss in there then we headed to mango and i've actually been loving mango at the moment some of their pieces have been my absolute favorite although my local mango is not the best a lot of the items that i'd seen online they just didn't have in my local zara they still had a lot of summery pieces which were really really cute but just not really what i was looking for i did really like this tan bag although it still was 50 pounds so still quite a lot of money this cable knit jumper was gorgeous and also this pair of gold earrings. I fell in love with these, although they were a little bit heavy and I just find it's really annoying when everyday earrings are heavy because they kind of stretch your earlobe. This little bag was stunning. I say little, it was actually quite big. It's kind of like a tote bag and I love the buckle detail at the side. It was very much giving designer, kind of like a Jack Moose dupe. They've just bought out a bag very similar to this and I just fell in love with this. Also found quite a lot of like accessories with this kind of canvas and tan leather and they also had that tote bag in a mini size with a little top handle and a crossbody strap which was really really cute as well this jacket i again fell in love with i just am never sure about these jackets on me i just don't know if i know fully how to style them but i thought it was very gorgeous and very chanel vibes i also love this kind of knit cardigan i love the creaminess of the knit it's actually so soft and i also love this little kind of like silver ruffly bag um like you guys know i literally love metallic bags Right, here is the piece de resistance, the item which I've purchased and been raving about. This tote bag, so this tan tote bag I have purchased, I've got it sat next to me right now. And this is literally a dupe of the Palem bag. And I couldn't believe it when I saw it. It's literally $29.99, which is amazing. And it is a complete dupe of the Palem bag. These little um, shoes are really cute as well. There's kind of like little white point shoes and these cardigans. I couldn't find these on the website anywhere. I'm going to try and have another look for you guys, but they're kind of like these piping detail cardigans. Very Chanel, very Sophia Ritchie. Then the final shop we went into was H&M. And again, my H&M is just never the best. I really like this dress when I first walked in. I love the shape of it. I love the shoulder padding and I love the kind of like drape, like ruched detail of it. But they only had a size XL, which is a little bit annoying. They had a lot of similar pieces to Zara, a lot of satin shirts, a lot of white shirts. These were actually pyjamas, which I fell in love with. I feel like I need to go back and purchase them because they are so cute. They're so Matilda Jeff and I feel like they'd be perfect for like autumn, winter, cozy nights. I actually just kind of tried on the rest of the stuff in the changing room. So I tried on this kind of like basic black top. I tried it on in white as well. And I really like the cut of this. I like the fact that it's like a cap sleeve, high neck. I feel like it looks quite classy and it's really good for layering, but also kind of good to just wear on its own for like a dinner or drinks or something like that. I actually opted for the white. So I've got the white at home and I don't know if it's a little bit see-through, but I'm going to see if I can try and style it. And I feel like I wear my hair down all the time anyway. Then here is the blue satin shirt, which I tried on. Again, this came home with me and has been a staple in my wardrobe. I love the colour of this. It actually doesn't show up how bright blue it is on the camera, but it is such a gorgeous blue. And I feel like you can just wear it in so many different ways. I've worn it and styled it already like five times. And then finally, I tried on this little jumper, which I feel like was such Scandinavian vibes. I could imagine like Matilda Jaff trying this on and just looking really, really cool. So that was everything I found on my little shopping trip. Stay tuned tuned for another come shop with me because i'm sure i'll be doing a lot more shopping for autumn winter see you guys soon in my next video love you